Hello viewers, uh, in this video I will be discussing regarding the A star algorithm. Now uh, I have already made a video on A star algorithm. Uh, so it was a video based on the uh, A star for how to solve the problem based on A star. Now in this video we will discuss regarding the A star algorithm. What are the steps that needs to be uh, evaluated to solve the problem. So in this algorithm, basically A star, to give a brief idea about A star, uh, we'll start with BFS. In breadth first search algorithm, if uh, two different states appear at two different levels, that is if two states like A and B states are there and if these two states appear at two different levels, then uh, if they have the same heuristic value, then we cannot compare them. So we can compare them by incorporating a value called as a heuristic value from the initial state to the goal state. Uh, so by A star algorithm, we can do so. So let me give you a brief idea about this, what I have spoken right now. For example, this is initial state that is I state and this is the state N and this is the goal state that is G. So I assign a distance from here till here as g of n and from here till here I will assign h of n. So basically this g of n is a distance of the state n from the initial state and h of n is the heuristic distance from the goal state to the state n. So we can solve this problem by evaluating the function that is f of n is equal to g of n plus h of n where g of n is this distance and h of n is this distance. So by changing these values we can actually solve the A star algorithm and moreover to this A star algorithm <coughs> is admissible heuristic Admissible means that it gives a perfect optimal solution and an efficient solution to solve this problem. So let us have a look over the steps of how to stop, solve the A star algorithm. So it goes like this. First, we will create a single member node comprising of the root node. That is, a queue would be there and in that queue, we will incorporate the root node from the tree. Next is, if the first member is found to be the goal node, then we will go to step 5. Step 5 says that print success and stop. If that is not the case, then we will remove it from the queue and add it to the list of visited nodes. Now these steps remain same for other algorithms as well like uh, best first search and some other algorithms. So if this is the not the case then we will consider its children nodes if any are there and we will evaluate them with the evaluation function which we have got from here that is f of n is equal to g of n plus h of n and add it to the queue and make sure that we will reorder the states as per the heuristic merit since a star is admissible means it has got a heuristic value so we will reorder the states not like how we did in the best first search that is from decreasing order. We will evaluate and reorder the states based on the heuristic merit. Here heuristic merit means best leftmost means which is the best we will reorder those from the left hand side. Next moving to step 4. If the queue is found to be empty, then we will go to step 6 and print unsuccess and stop. This means that we are unsuccessful in finding the goal node and hence we stop the process of A star algorithm. And step 5 says print success and stop and step 6 is print unsuccess and stop. So this is how the A star algorithm is being uh, evaluated. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful. Please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.